Have you ever wanted to bring an app idea to life and turn it into a source of income? This is what being able to code can unlock. But here's a common trap. Most people will waste months learning things that don't actually move them closer to their goals. Why? Maybe it's a lack of confidence, limited time, or simply not knowing where to start. If your goal is to build apps that provide value and earn money, then you don't need to know every technical detail of a language or a framework to achieve this. You just need to start and create some momentum. In this video, I'll provide a clear and concise roadmap for coding your first app, accepting payments from users, building a high conversion landing page, and securing your first customers. I'll try my best to cut out all the fluff to give you a compressed and actionable plan, even if you're starting from scratch and have zero coding experience. Before we dive into the roadmap, let's talk about something that's just as important, your mindset. First, you need to think of yourself as a problem solver, not just a programmer. You are not trying to memorize syntax or prompt the AI to write your solutions. It's about understanding and solving real problems for your users. Here's the truth. People will pay you good money if you can. Resolve a pain they're struggling with, save them time, or help them make more money. So as you learn and build, always ask yourself, how can my work improve the lives of others? If you consistently focus on providing genuine value, you'll stand out as someone who solves real problems, not just someone who writes code. Now that you've got the right mindset, the next step is to set clear goals. Just saying, I want to learn to code or I want to build an app is way too broad. You'll have no idea when you've achieved it and you'll constantly feel like you're falling short. Try using this simple formula when brainstorming app ideas. I want to build an app that does X to solve Y problem for these users. Or better yet, build something that solves a problem you are currently facing. Scratch your own itch and market it to other people that are facing the same problem. From there, focus towards building a simple, lovable and complete version of your app. Simple means it doesn't have to do everything, just deliver on the one to two key features you promised. Lovable means making people want to use your product with good UI and UX. And complete means your product should be functional at launch. Aim to ship a version 1 of something simple rather than a version 0.1 of something complex. No paying customer wants to use an unfinished product. A lot of people ask me, what is the best programming language to learn? And my answer is always, what are you trying to build? And this is why it's so important to set clear goals first. It becomes much easier to decide which programming language or tech stack you should learn once you have something in mind you want to build. But remember this, once you've picked a language and tech stack, you have to stick with it for a while. Your progress will only stall if you keep hopping from one language to another, always chasing the next shiny object. To code your first app, you'll need to choose and learn a tech stack. Instead of diving into every possible path, I recommend using a resource like roadmap.sh. It has in-depth roadmaps for various development paths for front-end, back-end, mobile, and more. It's free, actively maintained, and most importantly, highlights the essential and optional topics you should learn. This keeps your learning focused and efficient. A great resource to help you with your coding journey and one I've used personally is Scrimba. Scrimba is a platform with interactive courses on everything from front end to AI development. Their lessons are designed to be practical and hands-on, letting you edit and run code directly in the browser while following along with the tutorial. They put a huge focus on project-based learning, so it's perfect for applying your knowledge into real applications. Currently, over 80% of the content is free, and I personally recommend checking out their new AI engineer path. It's less than 10 hours long, and it primes you with the skills to work with modern AI technologies like the OpenAI API, Hugging Face, and Langchain all of which will become useful if you plan to implement AI features into your applications. Plus, Scrimba has a super active and welcoming Discord community where you can ask questions and get help whenever you're stuck. If you couldn't tell, I'm super excited and grateful to be working with Scrimba. Check them out first link in the description. Once you've chosen your tech stack, you can speed up your learning and building time by leveraging modern AI tools, Cursor and Windsurf. These AI IDEs aim to boost productivity with code generation, rewrites, and reviews all within your editor without having to context switch, keeping you in the flow state when building. Vercel V0, a tool that lets you generate fully responsive UI and components in seconds. And of course, ChatGPT. Check the description for some useful prompts to help you build faster. Once your app is functional, you will want a way to monetize it. Start by deciding on your pricing model. One-time payments. Customers prefer this as they only have to pay once to own the software. It's also quicker for generating revenue. Subscriptions. Ideal for recurring revenue, but consider adding it after you see some demand. Include a free trial to let users test your product before they commit. After deciding on a pricing model, choose a platform to handle your payments. 
Stripe, the most popular, powerful, and developer-friendly platform. Lemon Squeezy, recently acquired by Stripe, but still useful for indie developers who want an all-in-one solution with tax handling. Paddle, useful if you're targeting international customers with their built-in tax and subscription management. Now that users can pay you, it's time to ship your app so people can discover it. For web apps, I recommend platforms like Vercel, Coolify, and Netlify for deployment. For mobile apps, the App Store and Google Play Store are the most common platforms. And for browser extensions, the Chrome Web Store, Firefox, and Edge add-ons are the main platforms. Once your app is ready, you need to attract users and convert them into customers. One way you can do this is by creating a landing page. Its sole purpose is to build trust with a stranger and convert them into signing up or purchasing. There is a general structure for landing pages that are proven to give high conversions. You need a clear and compelling headline that grabs attention and communicates value. Include visuals or demos that show what your app can do and how it solves the problem. Add social proof like testimonials or user reviews to build credibility and trust. I will link some useful resources in the description. Once you have a landing page, use social media platforms like Reddit, Product Hunt, Twitter and niche forums to spread the word of your launch. Try not to make it sound too salesy, tell your story in a genuine way and what inspires you to make the product. People who resonate with you will be more than happy to try your product and give you your first piece of feedback. Congrats on publishing your app and gaining your first wave of users. But the work isn't over. To turn your app from decent into something great, you need to relentlessly gather feedback from your users and use it to improve. Add a simple feedback button within your app that lets users send an email directly to you. Or build a community where users can have open discussions, but be mindful, not all feedback is created equal. You need to focus on what matters, so use the following criteria to prioritize feedback. Frequency. How often do you get the same pieces of feedback? If the same issues keep getting mentioned, it's probably worth addressing. Feasibility. How easy or difficult is it to implement? If it's a quick win, implement it right away. Impact. How much real value does it bring to your users? Do your users really need dark mode? Or is that time better spent making your app responsive for mobile devices? The key to iterating is speed. This means releasing updates quickly and often. It's not uncommon for small startups to update production multiple times a day. This is where working solo becomes your greatest asset. You don't have a large team slowing you down, so move as fast as you can and use it to your advantage. For more solo startup content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.